Hi, this is Lauren Baker with Search Engine Journal here at SEJ Summit at the Computer Science History Museum in Mountain View. With me today, I have Mr. Kevin Hendrickson from Microsoft. How's Welcome, it going? Kevin. Good to see you again. Good Likewise. to see you again. Yeah. So uh, let's talk a little bit about um, marketing when you're at a startup and when you're at a larger corporation. Um, recently, you were involved in an acquisition by Microsoft, correct? Yes, yeah, correct. So uh, my company, Accompli, it's about 20 of us, uh, got acquired uh, by Microsoft about eight months ago. And um, yeah, there's some changes, right, that you would, you know, the way that we kind of did things uh, as a small company, mm -hmm. uh, more agile, uh, probably less process in general, but uh, there's also some things that are harder, right? And uh, that were harder as a startup to try to get known and get your name out and get your brand right. out, which uh, obviously Microsoft uh, has less of that problem, right? People have heard of Microsoft. And has an existing marketing machine. Correct, right. yeah. So back at Accompli, you're doing a little bit more of the scrappy, do-it-yourself type. I mean, you were involved with marketing of the of Yeah, the, so I mean, it was app, engineering right? was very closely uh, tied into marketing and how mm -hmm. that worked. And so, I mean, the, the product and the product team and design all was kind of integrated in terms of how we market. And now, obviously, when you move into a larger company, those, those functions are separated. Uh, I think the good part about it is as we've transitioned so far, uh, kind of from Accompli into uh, Microsoft and now you know being branded as Microsoft Outlook, right. uh, the brand made a big difference in terms of you know pushing us up in terms of growth, but it also enabled us to go focus on other things around how do we you know provide the best support or how do we mm -hmm. provide uh, the best feature best features and functionality for that as we go through, and then the marketing aspects of that are really about how do we really retain those users and how do we make sure they have a great experience kind of onboarding the app and kind of you know taking them from where they've already heard of the brand or the company and probably getting them into our app and getting it onto our, their phone. So in the startup world, if you had an idea, would you basically just pull it off that day or take the time to plan things out, thinking about what may happen down the road with that campaign? Yeah, it's great. So I think the way that we structured uh, kind of marketing uh, and growth inside of Accompli was that we had a greater vision of like or a, a, an idea of like, hey, we want to go this way or we want to attain these kind of numbers or this is the mm -hmm. kind of thing we do. But how we got there was super agile. We would just throw things against the light. Does this work? Test it. If it works, right. run with it. If it doesn't, kill it and move on, right? And I think similarly, uh, if you if you kind of compare this the the parallels is at Microsoft we do have a greater goal like we want to hit a growth number we want to hit a certain target and as we achieve that we still kind of break that down into smaller pieces but many of those pieces aren't controlled by our team right so we end up having other teams and partner teams that are working that are more you know that have more expertise or own that part of the process mm -hmm. but in terms of how we how we design and how we decide of what to go attack we still try to break it down into small pieces because it's just easier to consume and it gives you that agility to say, hey, if something doesn't work, stop doing that and go do something else. And so I think that's worked well. So Accompli is really a success story and you guys launched an app and everything else um, made it with the acquisition part of Microsoft. Congratulations, of course. Thanks. But what would you say is, is the uh, one kind of digital marketing discipline that you think really worked for you all, whether it's digital PR or content or SEO or just getting word out there about the app itself, like what really hit it off? I think for us, by and far, the biggest uh, kind of impact or biggest lever that we had in terms of uh, both growing a company as a company or a brand is press, right? I yeah. think, and, and, and I say press and that kind of, you know, is, is a broad thing, right? It's like, you know, it's people writing about you, it's, it's people talking about you on social media, mm -hmm. uh, that, that all of that filters down from us getting it. Nobody knows who you are as your startup, right? And so when you right. make an announcement right. and say, hey, I'm here, press has the biggest kind of reach, it has that set of readers, and so, you know, posting articles online, writing, you know, uh, kind of con controversial blog posts and getting those kind of you know pushed out into press or having people write about those was the best way. And I still think inside of Microsoft, I think a lot of that is you know obviously the press machine that Microsoft has is larger, right? I think that 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 helps in terms of the the width of what we can do. But uh, from the en at the end of the day, like press was by far the best thing. It was, it was the most impactful on both our company and our brand and uh, kind of the app itself and user base. Yeah, which is really interesting, especially in the world of startups, because a lot of the time when I'm when I'm looking at um, a website or an app that got their initial TechCrunch venture beat coverage around their investment or whatever, you yeah. see a blip yeah. and you see a little bit of traction and yeah. then it kind of dies off, yeah. right? And then it's like next time there's funding, a blip again, right? Because they get on TechCrunch yeah. again and then it kind of dies off. So do you think that kind of cutting through the noise with the press coverage that you had and, and those types of blog posts and everything else really helped you maintain? It did, I mean for sure, you know, when you would get an article, you would get a yeah. blip and I think the thing that we realized is that the, getting that blip is hard though, right? Even, you know, the right. blip is huge and it's impactful and it's awesome, but getting those is hard. Nobody wants to write about you every day, every week, right? And so doing meaningful and impactful things and so grouping features or grouping uh, 
kind of you know chunks of releases into something that's that's you know pressable, like that you can go put you know have actually a, a press event a renter press event around made sense but for us it was really like what's the story like right. you know it's a small it's a small team uh, building something new and we're attacking a space that's very old we were going after email yeah. right and like it's been around for everybody there's already hundreds of competitors out there uh, what would made us different and what, what were we doing differently and so it's not just like hey I'm doing something and funding's great hey I'm getting funding but why are you getting funding like right. lots of people are getting funding like there's lots of startups in the valley like how is yours different and how is yours unique and it was like and being able to craft that story and have like that sound bite that you could talk to a potential uh, writer or a reporter about where they could say yep I got it makes yep. sense like this is why you're different and then that's why they wrote the story, right? It's not because, hey, we just want to get press and we go get it, right? Because otherwise you get the, the one blip and never come back, right? You tell a good story, people want to retell yeah. it. And exactly, and you tell, and then you, and then you have that story that threads through and like, here's the next chapter of the story, yeah. here's the next chapter. And it, remember in our last, you know, remember in our last meeting, yep. this is what we're going to do. And then, and then you kind of going back and forth and that allows you to kind of get that, what, you know, rhythm, right? Where it's like, you know, as the Peter, our CMO used to say, it's like the drum beat. Right, yeah. dun 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 dun. You know, what, and then you you just keep hitting bigger notes, bigger notes, bigger notes, bigger, and you and you're working with a base because now you are starting to get known. But then, so how do you make those next ones bigger, right? And, yeah, and how do you make it more impactful? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's a great way I think to think about how you work a press strategy uh, is have a story to tell, and uh, you know, and get people interested in, in in what you're doing, and less about like, hey, just go write a story because nobody, you know, there's just there's and you know this, you've been publishing for writing for years, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you have to have something that's that cuts through the noise and is impactful enough to get that kind of signal to, to go after. Cool, so uh, Kevin, where can we find you online? Sweet, uh, yeah. And the SEJ audience, where can we find you on uh, Twitter and so whatnot? So on Twitter, uh, Kevin Henriksen, just my full name, uh, and also on Facebook, and so you can probably look me up. Twitter's probably the easiest, so yeah. uh, less, less noisy, and uh, we're good to go. So thanks again for having me, and I appreciate it. Very cool, thank you, yeah. thanks a lot. Hey kids, this is Lauren Baker of Search Engine Journal here at the SEJ Summit in Mountain View. With me, I have Jim Christian, the head hey. of SEO over at GoDaddy. Welcome, hey. Jim. Hey, thanks for the intro, appreciate it. You might wonder what we're doing sitting in a car. Well, this is no normal car. No. This is actually a Google self-driving car. It oh. is. The SEJ Summit is one of the uh, better conferences I attended. The speakers are fantastic. The weather here has been amazing. I mean, this location, the hotel,